Folks, this is a review of a 2000, I believe it's 12 Giant TCR Advanced SL. What we got here are NV45s, rotor cranks, got a little Lazine, Lazine pump, got some elite water bottles, cages. Uh, what else we got? I just got some. Uh, Got Speed Play Zero stainless steel. Got some uh, Garmin uh, Cadence sensors right here. Uh, at the top, we got some, uh, let's see, some Richie headsets. Got some uh, zip handlebars, arrow bars you see here. Uh, I'm running some SRAM Force. Uh, just because I've, got, I've gone through the previous SRAM Reds. 10 speed version and uh, I mean to be honest I really don't see a difference between SRAM Red and Force weight wise they're almost about the same running a physique curve saddle uh, this is probably one of the best saddles I've ever had it's comfortable it's got some sort of uh, I don't know if you guys can see here it's got some sort of suspension thing going on overall I think it's a, it's a great seat uh, I'm running a mixture of uh, Campagnolo uh, Super Record uh, brakes. Uh, I was just never really happy with, uh, you know, well, I don't know about the new Durace 9000s or the SRAM Red calipers. It's just uh, I never really found them to be to be uh, stiff. I've always found them to flex, but uh, with Campagnolo, it's very rigid, so I get really great feedback. Right here, I'm running a SRAM Wi-Fi 11-speed rear derailleur. The cogs are a uh, Shimano Ultegra 11-speed 1132. Uh, I opted for these only because uh, the SRAM uh, the SRAM are extremely expensive, and also if you don't get the top of the line one, you get the middle of the range. Uh, is extremely heavy so these are uh, let me correct myself these are Shimano Ultegra 11 speed cassette they're also a bargain as well I'm running KMC uh, chains right here for 11 speed uh, they work great you know I like it because it's, uh, it's a solid gold from afar right now they're kind of dirty so you can't really tell I'm running Q rings uh, I don't know, I've gone through round chain rings, but uh, with these ellipticals, uh, I think they're wonderful. You know, I don't have that perfect uh, uh, round circular pedal stroke. Uh, mine is very, uh, how would you say, it's, it's not smooth at all. Uh, I've got right here the SRAM uh, yaw pitch derailleur. I don't know, I, I think it's okay. I don't think it's the greatest thing in the world. I probably think maybe Durace uh, front derailers are probably much better. Overall, I gotta say this is this is probably one of the stiffest bikes I've ever owned. I've gone through three generations of TCR Advanced SLs. Uh, here's the previous version that I've had. It's one generation before SL TCR Advanced. I'll do a review on this later, but compared to the two. The new one is way stiff. A lot of it has to do with uh, that this is a one and one eighth uh, stem, whereas on this guy, we're running a one and one quarter inch diameter stem. So it's extremely stiff. Cornering wise, I'm a little bit scared to take this to the limit. Call me a pussy or whatever, but the way I take turns in this is it's, it's amazing. I mean, uh, I know it can do I know I can do a lot more, but uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm a little bit kind of scared, but you know, one of these days I'll give it a shot. But this is probably the most stiffest bike, also the most comfortable. I think a lot of it has to do with this uh, rear triangle right here. For some reason, uh, these struts right here somehow end at this point, whereas on the previous generation, there's they're combined here so when you have structurally wise you've got a lot of force that's transmitted through this triangle onto the top tube 
whereas on the newer model well you don't have too much load coming and meeting at a singular point so it'll offset right here so I think that has a lot to do with sort of the wire, the ride quality and its ability to absorb bumps anyways this is dudes needs do interview on the TCR Advance SL I think this is one of the best bikes out there on the market so far I got the frame I know I keep talking but I got the frame on eBay for about 900 bucks uh, it didn't come with the fork I think it was uh, a, a replacement uh, I got the forks from Giant for about 300 bucks so total I paid about 1200 now there's always deals going on eBay but uh, you, you know you guys keep looking this is a size small but man I just love riding this thing I think it's amazing you guys should go ahead and stop wasting your money on these expensive European bikes which are I mean they're already made in Taiwan anyways just go get yourself a nice Taiwanese giant I think they got their carbon fiber the carbon fiber uh, process down I mean you compare the newer giant finish especially carbon fiber it's it's so clean I think uh, the way <clears throat> they've done their mold process has improved drastically compare it with the with a previous version right here well I mean you know that the finish isn't finish is good but it's not as good as like the newest ones this is really glossy but you can see sort of some ripples I know it looks flaw it might look flawless in this video but you can actually see some ripples on this thing personally I don't think I can ever go back to riding this one after riding the new giant TCR advanced SL but hey you know technology is always moving forward on these bikes anyways once again this dude's knees doing report I'll do another review later on. Thanks, men and women.